Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is what God ministered to me for almost six weeks straight when my husband was dying and after he passed away. In the middle of the turbulence surrounding you these trying times are so hard to endure in the middle of what seems to be your darkest hour hold fast your heart and be this too shall pass like many nights that have gone before it he'll never give you more than you can bear this too shall pass so in this thought you become comforted it's in his hands this too shall pass listen there are so many ways that god ministers to us pat love with pat's two cents when my husband passed away, I'm saying this for those of you who really need to hear from God in, in hours of darkness, what we call our darkest hours. My husband was dying for 33 days. It, it, you know, after he passed away, this song stayed with me as well. And I'm telling you, God ministered it to me every single day. He ministered to my hurt. I missed my husband. And I'm saying this to say to you, no matter how dark your hour is, that's when God seems to shine the brightest. That's when God seems to feel the closest when our hearts are broken. And I want to encourage you. God knows how to communicate with us, you guys. He knows how to reach out to broken souls and wounded spirits. I was in mourning, deep mourning. The love of my life was no longer going to be with me. Even changing his diaper was a moment of joy at times I would make fun of him for stinking you know but I'm telling you we were extremely close now I say this to say take that from that and go to moments of loneliness there was a time years ago when I first got saved I was trying to come out of the world so to speak and I'm telling you it got to the point where I was in agony with my loneliness. And God ministered to me so much that Jesus, my Lord and Savior, descended through my ceiling. I cried out to God. I said, God, do you keep us company? Because I'm lonely. And Jesus came down through the ceiling and sat knee to knee, face to face, eye to eye, said not a mumbling word. All oh, my loneliness was gone, you guys. God is so real in our darkest hours. He's not a deadbeat dad. He's a very present help in trouble. Now, I want you to be reassured of that. He is a very present help in trouble and let me tell you there was a time when someone hurt my feelings God shows up I'm telling you 
He always showed up with my pain. A person hurt my feelings with a very insignificant remark, but for some reason it kept bugging me. And I said, Lord, why is this bugging me? <laughs> yeah, it pays to ask God questions. That was one time I heard his voice. He answered me. And he answered me with one word. And that word was rejection. And that was the beginning of a two-hour inner healing deliverance session where God reached deep down inside of me and pulled up, uprooted the root of rejection, which after that no longer had control over my life. Now, another one. I'm trying to make these real quick. I was sitting in my house. I was just freshly saved, maybe three months in the Lord. And my father called me one time too many, and I was getting over my selfishness. I was getting over me, the old man, and I was doing my best to live as saved as can be. And I, I had a hissy fit. I had one of those adult temper tantrums. What, what, what now? Can I have a few minutes to myself? And I heard Listen, I prayed and I, I cried because I felt so bad for reacting so stupidly and selfishly. And I asked God, Lord, what's wrong with me? Why do I go off like that? Ask questions. He is your answer. He spoke my answer in one word. When I said, what's wrong with me? The word he spoke to me was rage. And I said, oh my goodness, am I that angry? Do I have all that in me? Am I that messed up? Oh God, please take it out. Please heal me. And that was when I started asking God to heal me and cleanse my spirit, cleanse my mind, cleanse my heart. And I'm telling you the healings began from that moment on. That was the last time I went off on somebody. Even though my father couldn't hear me, I was in the living room having a hissy fit. He couldn't hear anything. He thought I broke something or I was mad at something in there. He didn't know it was because he called me and I was being a brat. But God still showed me without getting on my case. And he showed me that the rage was there because of all the hurts and all the impositions that happened in my life. God understands us, you guys. God wants us to know what's going on. He doesn't want to leave us groping around in the dark. That's why he sheds light in our pathway. That's why he goes ahead of us and he makes the crooked places straight and the rough places smooth. God is an everlasting Father, our Prince of Peace. <sighs> okay. I ask you to start asking God questions. You're in a quandary. You can't figure out why this, why that, what's wrong with me, what is going on. He is the one and only. With all the answers you need, baby. And God is more than willing to answer the deepest questions, the deepest quandaries in your life, and bring peace and healing to your soul. God bless you. Thank you, Lord.